Are you looking to make your projects pop? In this video, I'm gonna show you how to create two different styles of accent explosions to enhance any motion graphic project you're working on here in After Effects. Using accent graphics can be great when working with titles or logo animation, and you're looking just to add a little bit of extra detail to your projects. So if you're ready to create some cool circle explosions, let's jump in and let's get started. All right, we're loaded up. Let's go ahead and make things pop. So we're gonna start off simple by creating these really easy circle pops. So what we can do is come here to the top and grab the ellipse tool. And all we're gonna do is draw out a perfect circle, hold down and shift on your keyboard. This will draw out a circle like so. Then what we're gonna do is open up the ellipse one, go to transform ellipse one and add a keyframe for scale. Move that keyframe forward in time, maybe by half a second, and then set the scale down to 0%. You can go ahead and select both keyframes, hit F9 to make them easy ease, go to the graph editor, and I'm using the speed graph. And all I'm gonna do is just bring these points into the center and essentially we'll just have this animation. Now what I want to do is close up ellipse one and go to edit duplicate. And this will create ellipse two. What I want to do is then go to add and add a merge paths. Make sure the merge paths is underneath ellipse one and two. Then all you need to do is open it up and set the mode to subtract. Then just select the layer and hit U on your keyboard. This will bring up the keyframes and offset the ellipse two keyframes like so. And by doing this, you'll have this nice circle explode. And before we duplicate this, a quick tip that we can apply is to quickly go to Effect, Generate, Fill. Then go to Layer, New, uh, Null Object. Then go to Effect, Expression Controls, and add a uh, color control. Then what you can do is go back to your Shape Layer, Alt, click the stopwatch for color, and then just parent the color expression uh, to the color control. And now you can change your color to whatever you want via Null Object. So I'm gonna take my circle explode here, move it around my composition, and then simply I'm gonna go duplicate again, move randomly around my composition, and I'm gonna repeat this process until we have about, you know, 20 of these. And the reason why we created that color control is so now we can change the color of everything with just a click of a button. So you're welcome to make that change if you wish. And one thing I actually wanted to do to keep our timeline a little bit more clean, let's come here to one second and go to edit split layer and just hit delete on my keyboard. So now we know each explode is just about a second long. And then all I'm gonna do is come here and offset these randomly in my timeline. So by following this technique, you can have some nice detail to your composition fairly quick. And of course, I would suggest keeping these splodes off of the actual graphics or titles within your composition. All right, the next circle splode technique we're gonna talk about is creating this beautiful like explosion firework, which is very simple to make. So what I'm gonna do is come here to the top, grab the pen tool, select the word fill and set it to none, click okay. Go to the word stroke, set it to solid color, click okay, of course, and then set the stroke width to five. And what I can do from the center of my composition, I can bring up the title safe. So you just come here to the crosshair icon and you just click on title safe. And what I'll do is click a point here roughly in the center and just draw out a straight line by holding down shift on my keyboard. Then I can open up our shape layer, go to contents, uh, then go to transform shape one, add a keyframe for position. And we'll go a little bit of past the second in our timeline. And then we'll set the X position up to around 400. So you'll see the line will animate like this. Then go ahead and select both keyframes, hit F9 to make them easy ease. Go to your graph editor and just go ahead and bring these lines in. All right, then close up shape one, go to contents, go to add and add a repeater. Open up repeater one, we'll set our number of copies to 12 and we'll go to transform repeater one and set the rotation to about 30 degrees. And then go to the X position and set it to zero. And you might have to finesse the rotation by a little bit to get that perfect circular pattern, but here's what we have. Now what we can do is close repeater one, go to add and add a trim paths. We'll open this up. We'll add a keyframe for start. We'll set the end percent to zero. We'll add a keyframe for start. We'll move forward in time by a little bit. Set to 100%, then add a keyframe for end. Move forward to that last position keyframe that we created and set the end to 100%. And then of course, you're welcome to select all the keyframes, hit F9 to make them easy ease, go to your graph editor and just kind of bring these handles inward. So now we'll have something like this and you know, it's coming together. So then we can duplicate our layer or our keyboard for rotation, rotate it and then just offset it in our timeline. Then we can change our stroke color to a different color. Duplicate one more time, offset in our timeline and change the color one more time. And then we set our third line flow to about 30 degrees for the rotation. Then what I can do is take these three layers that we've created, go to layer pre-compose, we'll call it explosion and click OK. Then I can take the layer, hit ask my keyboard for scale, scale it down if I wish to do that, bring it somewhere else around our composition, duplicate it, move it around. And then I'll repeat this process like we did with the other splode layers. So then of course I'll offset it in our timeline. 
So with all of our accents put together, we have a really awesome composition. If you use After Effects or Premiere Pro, then be sure to check out our Motion Duck extension, which has over 20,000 editable templates for your projects. For example, you can browse, import, and edit templates all from the Motion Duck extension. So you'll be able to save hours of time on every project while producing high quality work. You can also download our free 100 template pack with the links in the description below. And if you purchase anything from our website, you will be supporting our channel, so thank you very much. If you're new to our channel, Sunduck Film, please be sure to hit that subscribe button as we post multiple post-production tutorials every single week, and always be creative.